Stop. We have a cat. We have a cat. Hey everyone, Kim Chica and Rosie here today. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. We're going to explore Panorama today in the cafe. I'm really looking forward to this. I love tile games. I love it when I get to build cities and cozy countrysides, and that's what this looks like. So let's hop in and see what it's all about. Alrighty, so let's begin. Um, right here, right here, there is um, basically rows of tiles. Let me actually, hold on. All right, I made my face a little smaller so you could see the tiles um, right here that's coming up. It looks like the first is a tree. Now, what I'm really excited about with this game uh, is that A, we're building. I love that. But I think there's gonna be some interesting stuff that this game does from what I can see on the Steam page in terms of strategy and what it's going to encourage us to do as we play. Um, Got field. Let's put fields together. So now see, I basically leveled up these tiles. There's now two houses where there was one. There's now some flowers in the fields. So when you're putting things strategically, you can really start to expand and grow. And I think that's going to make these town countryside areas that we build look more sort of full and beautiful than perhaps a few other places. Now this one's interesting, this tile, let's turn this around, because there's three colors. We have a kind of a gold, an orange, and a teal. And so what's interesting is when I put it next to both a forest and a field, which is the teal and the gold, we get extra points instead of just putting it next to a house, which gives us just the one point boost. And look, the forest got bigger. Now this piece is interesting. This is a multi-piece. We've got four tiles already put together and we've got some water. So if we pair it with this water here, whoops, that maximizes and gives us a little bonus. So that's nice. So I like the way this is forcing us to be strategic and it kind of guides us a little more than some other similar tile building games that I think are quite good. But for me, sometimes I feel like I want a little more guidance. Okay, so this is another field, so we're going to put that there. Here's another house, so we could put two. Okay, it's about the same. I think I want a village to go around here. And I love, like, look at it, look at how it grows. I think that's so cool. Okay, the forest is looking really good. We'll expand it out this way. We haven't had any structures come through yet. And the goal is to try and build and add to our deck before that 87 goes down to zero. All right, so we've got a mountain top on the way. Let's put it over here. Um, and this is good by a field and water and house. So let's do this. Water, mountain, and field. Yeah, this is probably the best spot. Got more field over here. Now here's Q. I think Q means quest again, so we've got another interesting like five tiled situation. And we want it to be by two mountains. So we've got one here, so we're gonna place that there. And so we're looking for one mountain and one water piece just to finish those quests. And hark, we have a mountain and we got some good points up ahead. And we've gotten our first boost. So this is our structure. We can pick one and look at how cute they are. We've got a local cafe, which is for house tiles, building more of a village. We've got a forester's lodge and we've got a fisherman's hut. Now I'm looking ahead and I see a few house tiles coming through and not so many forest or water. So I'm going to pick a cafe. There is also a pick one later option that I think is pretty cool but I'm, I am picking one now. <laughs> and what's nice is see you can kind of overlap and maximize here. I can use these two houses, put that down. I know this is a house here and I know this is a field, right? No, that's a, that's a wheat, sorry, wrong, wrong thing. This is a field, there we go. 
And look at this. Welcome to the cafe, everyone. We built it. We built the cafe. Okay. Let's see. We'll just place that there. Hmm. Okay. We've got another quest. So now we're looking for wheat fields, which we've got here. Hmm. Yeah, let's stick it out that way. I kind of, I want to leave a little space in here to work with. I haven't had any water come up, and I'm really, really wanting some of that. Hmm. Let's put it right here. I want there to be more of a village over here. Ooh, heck yes, 13. Oh, we're, ro we're rocking. Okay, keep going here. I'm excited. We're almost... Oh, wait, no, we have another structure. Oh! <gasps> Hillside airship, oh, an hillside cottage, and a fountain. Expands the zone of control. I wonder what that means. Um, randomly places water tiles in a small range or upgrades mountain tiles. We have a decent number of mountain tiles, but I'm curious about what this zone of control means, so that's why I'm picking that. Okay, so we've got, if we can, Oh, can I not zoom here? So we've got two mountains, a field, and a forest. I feel like we should be able to at least knock two of these out. There we go. Okay. So now we need another mountain. This mountain. Um, we need a forest. Oh, and that's a house. Okay. And oh, we need, oh, we need a field. Here we go. <gasps> Expands the zone of control. Oh, I see. Does this mean we can place instead of one out, we can now place two out? That's kind of neat. What I really love about this is it's making me feel like I am building a bit more than some other tile games. Like this looks so cute and I feel so proud of this little countryside already. Look at this tractor! Oh my goodness! We've got a little actual farm! Oh my gosh, are we gonna- <gasps> Stop. We have a cat. We have a cat. We've got- <gasps> Windmill? Oh my gosh, we definitely have to do the windmill. That's so cute. Okay, so we need field and home. Oh, dang it, we're so close! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so we're on the last tile for this round. I only got to seven structures built. And I don't think we'll make it to the next round. Oh, we were 29, 29 away. Oh my gosh, but look at this beautiful countryside that I made. Like, look at how amazing that is. Oh my gosh. I absolutely adore this game. I think the ability for it to make me feel like I was really growing something. Um, look at that. That's so cute. Yeah, super, super cute. I think anyone who loves a nice, chill puzzle game, uh, this, this is one to keep an eye on. I would love... Well, I'm hoping to try this out in my Steam Deck because this is a game that I would love to take with me traveling or like to play right before bed because it's so relaxing. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoy this, please consider finding the developers of Panorama and following them. <laughs> this is Rosie saying a quick hello and that she appreciates the game too. And if you enjoyed this channel, um, please consider following me here as well as TikTok and Twitch. I'm Kim Chica on all three of those platforms. And I like to help you discover your next favorite indie game in this digital cafe, a cozy atmosphere where we get to hang out, just relax and have good conversations, or just again, just don't have a conversation, just enjoy being here and being present. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, finding lots of games to play, and I'll see you next time. 
Bye.